Last night, dozens of Bigfoot researchers and enthusiasts descended on Toronto for the world premiere of a film at this year's Hot Dogs Festival. For months, rumor has been circulating that Morgan Matthews' secretive new documentary, Shooting Bigfoot, was going to blow the lid off the mystery once and for all. Our producer, David McDougall, caught up with a group of Bigfoot hunters from Minnesota after the film finished. Uh, to, uh, be sure there are lots of witnesses and lots of people who've seen things. Yeah, we've talked about this and we've heard a different kind of ending right. that was actually edited in the film. So that was disappointing. Very, very we think there's more to this ending and it was left as a cliffhanger and, and that's too bad. Is, it, is there a second version of the film coming out that shows more of that? We don't know. Why would Morgan Matthews basically, if he knows more than this, he's hoaxing the world. Where is the body? If, if it, do, it does exist, we don't know. But yeah. Just a point all around, I think. But Who knows? Maybe it's all been a hoax. You know, but if there was more footage and it's not there, that's they like a crime. For some other reason, that's disappointing. Yeah. Show right. more. Right. They, then, then, then it's a reverse hoax, and it's bad. Well, there you have it. Just a few disappointed Bigfoot enthusiasts. Just a few of the disappointed Bigfoot enthusiasts leaving the world premiere of Shooting Bigfoot last night at the Hot Dogs Festival in Toronto. Morgan Matthews is the director of that film. We reached him in a cab in Toronto. So, Morgan, you heard from those people who came out of your film last night, the premiere, they're saying, uh, asking if you're hoaxing the world and uh, does the Sasquatch really exist? Where is the evidence? What do you say to them? Um. Well, it depends what they've heard, and and I, as I understand it, there have been um, lots of rumours going around that I, I that I am in possession of the body of Bigfoot, or I have moved the body of Bigfoot to a location, secret location in America, somewhere, um, and that's not the case. And I certainly didn't put those rumours out there. So I'm sorry if those guys were disappointed not to see a dead Bigfoot, but there's certainly something quite surprising that happens at the end of the film, and I don't know if they expanded on that, Um, but people will have to watch the film and make their own minds up. Did you set out to find Bigfoot or to show people who believe Bigfoot's there or are looking for Bigfoot? Um, This is a childhood interest of mine, and uh, when I found out that there were there were men who uh, continued that interest into their adult years. I was keen to meet them and, and also just uh, to, to perhaps rekindle some of that interest I had as, as a kid. And, you know, if, if there is a possibility um, that, that Bigfoot was out there, then I was certainly interested to find out if that was the case. But also I was just interested in the guys and the guys I met and what made them tick and where these beliefs came from because they are very strong-held beliefs, and as you all know, if you speak to anyone in the Bigfoot community as it's known, it's, they take it very seriously, and it's almost uh, religious. Well, they get, very, the they get very angry when you suggest that, that uh, the Bigfoot's just a mythology or an invention, so did they have any idea that you might not uh, be on side with them where you were hanging out with these, these men? Well, it's, it's not that I wasn't on side, and, and there are... The, the guys in the film are, um, you know, there's there's four guys in the film, and they don't necessarily represent the wider Bigfoot community. They represent themselves, and within the Bigfoot community, there are lots of different factions and different beliefs, and not everybody gets on with each other. So it wasn't really a case that these guys are, are representing the entire community, and there are lots of guys out there who would disagree with them and have different beliefs. But um, I just chose... Uh, four men who I found interesting and spent some time with them to see where that would take us. And it ended up taking us somewhere quite um, interesting, extreme and unexpected. Can you tell us a bit about these men that you that you traveled with? Um, there's uh, a man called Rick Dyer and a man called Tom Biscardi um, who have some shared history but now don't speak at all um, and not on good terms. Uh, and then there is a there are two men um, from Ohio called Dallas and Wayne who describe themselves as Bigfoot researchers, uh, whereas Rick Dye would describe himself as a master tracker. And did any of them say they'd actually ever seen Bigfoot? Uh, they all say that. How convincingly do they tell you they've seen Bigfoot? 
Well, it's you know, I think you can if you watch the film, you can make your mind your own mind up about how convincing that is. Um, I mean, they're certainly very passionate about their descriptions and about their beliefs, and they stick to their guns and their claims. And what did they show you? Because they took you into the woods, showing showing you footprints and uh, some of them have collected hair samples, all kinds of things. What what evidence did they present? Well, there was there was certainly. Um, what you could describe and what they would describe as evidence. And again, I don't want to say too much, but um, to some people it will be very compelling and to others perhaps not so. But uh, there is something quite extreme at the end of the film which may or may not have been a close encounter. But the, okay, but to go back to your earlier remark that, that what was so interesting was the hunters more than Bigfoot. These are crazy characters these are these are wild men what what possesses them to spend so much of their lives looking for this sasquatch well they because they believe in it and they or they say they believe in it and you know for me it was i was just interested where that motivation came from and whether it was genuine um and i don't know if i got to the bottom of that but yeah they are unwavering in their conviction whether whether you believe them or not they 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 really do um uh, they don't change their minds. But you, this one fellow you just mentioned, Rick Dyer, who's a used car salesman, he was caught trying to pass a Halloween costume off as, a, as the body of a Sasquatch. So do you do you think they genuinely believe the Bigfoot really exists? Well, Rick was involved in a, in a hoax in 2008, and uh, he's very public about that. Everybody in the Bigfoot community knows that. Um, and when I met Rick, he was claiming to have turned over a new leaf, and he was quite ev- evangelical. He said that he had seen Bigfoot and that now he was on a mission to, to prove it and to redeem himself for what happened in 2008. Have these people, have these men seen your documentary? Uh, they haven't seen it yet. How do you think they've seen parts of it, but not not yet? How do you think they'll react? It depends. Um, I mean, I've I've spoken to them about what's in the film, and you know, uh, up until now we've had a good relationship. So I think the film is a fair uh, representation of them. I think it's a really good watch. So I, I think it's got some, some good elements, and I hope that they can appreciate that. But they also think that you maybe have film that you're not going to share, that you are, you're covering up you, what you know about the existence of Bigfoot, right? I know that some people are saying that. Do you believe that Bigfoot exists? It's, it's a difficult question. Really? Um, I, <laughs> it's a difficult question. Do you believe he exists? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Do you that's believe? A shame. Do you believe? What was this? Is like I Santa Claus the or the is, Easter Bunny? I mean, do you believe it? Do you? I think, sorry, I think the world is a better place if we believe that Bigfoot is out there. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there, Morgan. All right. Best of luck with your film. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Morgan Matthews is the director of a new documentary called Shooting Bigfoot, which is playing later tonight at the Hot Dogs Film Festival in Toronto. We reached him in a cab in Toronto.